the poster. Ben was a small black and brown dog. He was the bus dog of a Blossom Street. Every Saturday morning, he walked up and down Blossom Street. Today, he did the same. He smelled all the doorsteps and words. The children gave him food and his tail moved. He was happy. He looked into Baby Kelly's pram. Baby Kelly laughed and touched Ben's wet nose. Ben checked the streets. He made the dogs stay in their gardens. He made the cats sit on the walls. They were afraid of Ben. He was the boss dog. Ben went back to his own house. Everything seemed fine on Blossom Street. Everything was not fine, however. Ben's owners, Ada and Harry, were at home. This was a strange. They always went to work on Saturday mornings, but they did not today. There were boxes everywhere. Harry was busy. Ada was busy too. Hello, Ben, said Ada. Did you like your work? Ben looked at the boxes. Eat your food now before the van comes. What van? Though to the van, he soon knew. A big van arrived at the front door of the house. Two men helped Harry and Ada. They put all their things in the van. I can't leave Blossom Street, though to the van. Who will look after Blossom Street? Who will play with the children? Who will make the dogs stay in their gardens? Who will make the cats sit on their garden walls? Come on, Ben, shouted Harry. Say goodbye to Blossom Street. He picked up Ben and put him in, put him in the front of the van. The children on Blossom Street came out to wave when the van set off. Kelly's mom gave Ben some cake. Ben looked out of the van. He thought, if I move away, I can't do my job. I'm the boss dog of Blossom Street. What shall I do? But I can't leave Ada and Harry. Dogs must stay with their owners. I'm not like a cat. Cats will go anywhere for some food. The van went slowly to the new house. There was a big orange bus in front of it. Ben watched the bus. He had an idea. The bus moved and the van followed. When he got to the new house, he had a plan. He could still be the boss dog of, of Blossom Street, although he did not live there anymore. He felt happier and jumped out of the van. He smelt every corner of his new home. The next day was a Sunday. Ada and Harry had to clean their house. The new house had a garden at the back. The dogs here stay in their own gardens, Ada told Ben. You can't be the boss dog here. I'll take you for a walk later. Ben went to the end of the garden. He heard a funny sound. Yo, yo, yo! Something was in the next garden. It was a small dog with a red ribbon on top of its head. Ben could not believe it. Look at that, he thought to himself. That's not a real dog. No dogs on Blossom Street wear red ribbons. He did not talk to the small dog. He did not look at it. He heard his owner shout. Fufu, Fufu, come to mommy. Oh no, said Ben to himself. I want to go back to Blossom Street. On Monday morning, Harry and Ada went to work. I've left a key with our neighbor, Ada said to Ben. Fufu's owner will open the door for you. You can go into the garden. We'll be home at 5 o'clock. Stop talking to that dog, said Harry. He doesn't understand. What do you mean? Of course he understands. She looked at Ben and smiled. At half past 10, Fufu's owner opened the door. Good.
door to the bank. He ran into the garden and dug a hole. Bad dog! Shouted the Fufu's owner. Fufu, close your eyes. Don't look at that naughty dog. Ben tried to talk to the dog on the other side of the garden. He was a large bulldog with a small eyes. Mm, this dog looks better. Door to the bank. Ben barked in a friendly way, but the big dog said nothing to Ben. I don't like my new house," said Ben. "I have no friends here. I must go back to Blossom Street." That night, Ben slept and dreamed about Blossom Street. The next day, Harry and Ada went to work. Ben started to think about his plan. He jumped out of. Of his basket and opened the door. He was a clever dog, so it was easy. He walked out of the front garden. He stopped at the bus stop and stood near a man and a woman. When the big orange bus came, he jumped on behind the man and the woman. The bus driver did not notice Ben. He sat at the back and looked out of the window. The bus soon came to the Blustery Street. A man got off the bus and Ben jumped off with him. The driver of the bus saw Ben's tail and shouted, "Whose dog is that? Has anyone paid for his bus fare?" It was too late. Ben ran down Blossom Street. He smelled all the doors and walls. He made the dogs stay in their gardens. He made the cats sit back on the garden walls. Ben looked into Baby Kelly's pram. Baby Kelly laughed loudly. Her mom heard her and came to see. Ben, she shouted, "What are you doing here?" Ben barked and looked hungry. "Come inside," said Baby Kelly's mom. Are you hungry? I got some meat. You can have some. When the children came home from school, they shouted, "Ben, Ben, how did you get back here? We missed you!" They hugged him. Ben played with them until dinner time. Oh, it's dinner time," said Baby Kelly's mom. "I have to take Ben back to his new house." She went to the door and shouted, "Ben, Ben!" However, Ben was not there. The children looked up and down Blossom Street. They could not find Ben. So Baby Kelly's mom went to Ben's new house. Ada and Harry were pleased to see Baby Kelly's mom. "Hello, it's nice to nice to see you," they said. "Hello," said Baby Kelly's mom. "Is Ben here?" "Of course, he's here," said Ada. He was sleeping in the kitchen when we came home from work. He likes his new house. Why was he in Blossom Street all day? Asked the baby Kelly's mom. Blossom Street said Ada. He wasn't in Blossom Street. He was here all day. It must be a different dog, said Harry. Oh no! It was a bad. You can ask the children. They play with him, said baby Kelly's mom. To the other room, Ada whispered, "Ben understands everything." No, he doesn't," said Harry. He went into the other room to hear Ada's plan. "I'm not going to work tomorrow," said Ada. "I pretended to go to work, but I hide and watch it down." The next day, Ada watches Ben get on the big orange bus. She wanted to laugh. What a clever dog! She thought he's going to Blossom Street by bus. She went to Blossom Street and watches Ben from Baby Kelly's mom's window. At half past four, Ben went to the bus stop and called to the bus home. The bus driver said, "Hello, dog." He did not ask Ben for the bus fare. When Ada and Harry arrived at home, Ben was sleeping in his basket. Hello, Ben. Are you tired? Asked Ada. It's difficult looking after Blossom Street all day. Ben listened and opened one eye. We know all about it, said Ada. 
Then there was a knock on the front door. Harry went to answer the door and then came back to the kitchen. It's a reporter from the newspaper, the Daily News, said Harry. He wants a photograph of Ben. The bus driver told him about Ben taking the bus by himself. Is this true? Yes, it is, said Adam. He's a clever dog. Ben jumped out of his out of his basket. He was excited. He liked the photographs. The next day, everyone in Blossom Street saw Ben's photograph in the newspaper. It said, "Ben goes by bus." A lot of people rode on the bus with the Ben, so the bus driver made a lot of money. Ben was still the dog. Bus dog of Blossom Street, although he did not live there anymore. The end.